Are you new to the cozy gaming space and don't know what games to try out first? Well, I have got 10 cute and cozy games perfect for you. Hello, hello everyone and welcome, welcome back. So today I have got 10 cute and cozy games that are perfect for absolute beginners. So get comfy, get cozy and let's start off with the first game. The first game is a shorter game than most, but it has 2D and 3D elements. It has collection, mini games and storytelling all within a book setting. This game is called The Plucky Squire. It follows the adventures of Jot and his friends, storybook characters who discover a 3D world outside the pages of their book. When the malevolent Humgrump realises he's the villain of the book, destined to lose his battle against the forces of good for all eternity, he kicks the heroic Jot out of its pages and changes the story forever. Jot must face challenges unlike anything he's ever seen if he is to save his friends from Humgrump's dark forces and restore the book's happy ending. Jump between 2D and 3D worlds, solving puzzles, boxing badges, flying with a jetpack and enjoying many more delightful and surprising mini challenges. This game is absolutely wonderful. I have had so much fun playing this one and before you even start the game there are two difficulty settings you can choose from so one being a normal challenging mode or one being a story mode where it's not as challenging but you still enjoy the story and get to experience the story as a whole and I've really enjoyed playing this version of the game. There's even really good accessibility options in there for you. So this is a really good game if you're looking for a beginner's game into something with a bit more action, a bit more puzzle-like elements but don't really know where to start. The next one is so relaxing where you are in charge of unpacking a person's life. This one is called Unpacking. Unpacking is a zen game about the familiar experiences of pulling possessions out of boxes and fitting them into a new home. You are invited to create a satisfying living space while learning clues about the life you're unpacking and over the course of eight house moves you are given a chance to experience a sense of intimacy with a character you never see and a story you're never told. This game is utterly beautiful beautiful. The soundtrack alone is absolutely stunning and there are multiple ways that you can finish this game with multiple ways of actually putting the items where you want them which is really nice. There are no set limits or guidelines with this one. It is simply just unpacking someone's life and it's just a really cozy zen-like experience that would be perfect for like a rainy afternoon or something like that that and it's just to kind of get you in to a puzzle like game and this one has a really beautiful story in there as well. If you normally hate restaurant management games because they are too fast paced then you need to try this game. Coffee Caravan. You'll immerse yourself in the world of a cafe manager tasked with brewing up a variety of coffee, tea and even ice cream delights and building your own coffee business on wheels. The game features a charming 3D environment Environment with a pastel coloured aesthetic and your daily journey takes you on a procedurally generated road trip full of surprises. Throughout your adventure you'll discover and unlock new recipes, purchase cutting edge appliances and focus on providing an efficient and enjoyable experience for your customers. This one is absolutely amazing if you hate restaurant management because I usually do because there is three difficulty settings in this one and they have a cozy setting which is amazing. The customers slow down by up to two times, I think it is. So you're able to really take your time and get to grips with a restaurant management, coffee management style of gameplay. And if you want to, then you can kind of ramp it up to normal play or extreme play if you want to. And I really love the procedurally generated 
road trip they call it but it's kind of like a career tree where you go up and you can pick which route you want to go on so some of them will have really easy customers some of them will have really difficult customers some of them will have just new recipes or stuff for you to buy it's really kind of tailored to how you would like to play this game and i really really enjoy this one it's perfect for a beginner if you are looking for a bit of a challenging puzzle game then game four is for you this one is called botany manor this is a first person puzzle game set in a victorian english manor you play as a botanist arabella green who is working to finish her botanical research book forgotten flora you explore a complete historical english manor and its grounds researching how to grow rare plant species from seed the plants you grow are fantastical but still inspired by real phenomena in nature so some of them require you to think outside the box using what's available to you in the manner you must create the ideal conditions for each plant. As you go you learn more about the life and career of Arabella and the challenges she faced as a woman navigating her scientific career. This game is great if you love puzzles and really want to get stuck into a really good puzzle but are still new to the cozy game genre. This is really easy to control, it gives you step by step guides but it does come with a challenge which is really fun so you have to really think about these puzzles that it gives you in a planty based way it's so much fun to play the grounds and the house are gorgeous and it's just so much fun to learn about all of these plants learn about arabella's life as well this game is just so much fun to play in this game you are a cat and you are exploring a city this one is perfect for a beginner and it is Little Kitty, Big City. You're a curious little kitty with a big personality on an adventure to find your way back home. You explore the city, make new friends with stray animals, wear delightful hats and leave more than a little chaos in your wake. Getting home is your main priority, but there is one big to-do list first. This game is so cozy and so cute. You obviously get to play as this little adorable cat. This is a great introduction to an exploration game because you are just in this city environment where you are left to explore to your heart's content. Nothing can hurt you. You can fall as far as you want to and you'll be absolutely safe. There is no time limits on anything. It is completely open world. So this is a great introduction for beginners. You can finish it as quickly or as slowly as you want to because there are things like achievements and collections and quests and hats and nap spots and things like this. It's a really good game to get you started. If you are in the mood to endlessly build things, then this one is perfect. This is called Tiny Glade. This is a relaxing, free form building game where you tap into the joy of making something pretty with no management combat or wrong answers just kick back doodle some castles and turn forgotten meadows into lovable dioramas there is a gridless environment with no wrong answers or failure states and you can let yourself unwind to the chill vibes and escape into a world that feels alive I have only just started playing this game but I am fully hooked. This one is a pure building game so if you love building things this one is for you. You can literally build castles, ruins, whole towns, magical towers, anything you can think of you can build in this game and I've never really liked building games until this one. It is so easy and smooth to use. There are only a few controls as well so you can't really go wrong with what you're doing. You can literally just place two different types of buildings. There's a wall, a fence, then you drag the path through to make a door or an archway. You can place windows. There are adorable sheep and 
ducks and you can pet them as well. There is so much fun to be had in this game and anything you create looks amazing in this one. You cannot go wrong. The next game is great if you want a farming sim that's easy to pick up but hard to put down. This one is called Roots of Patcha. Be part of a thriving Stone Age community in Roots of Patcha. You get to discover, gather and farm vegetables and herbs, explore the surrounding wilderness to find animals and befriend them, fish and mine, and as you go you develop the tools and ideas that reshape the primitive world. Learn to preserve food, begin metalworking, create pottery, invent new buildings, and you can even design, place, and decorate your own unique home to return to after a hard day's work. This game is like the quintessential farming sim, but it's such a good one for beginners because it gives you such a good tutorial to begin with and the ease of use of it. It's a really good introduction to a farming sim because it's set in this stone age environment. You get to discover different vegetables as you go so you get to discover what potatoes are what carrots are things like that and then you get to plant them and water them and you get to discover and invent things that will help you farm so you get to discover how to water the crops quicker how to create pottery to help you store things it's a really fun interactive farming sim that that as you get the hang of it you can then apply to other farming sims because you'll know what to look out for and what kind of items you're going to need to focus on as you keep playing these farming sims. There's also a whole range of villagers that you get to befriend and you get to marry and you can live with them as well. It's a really nice interaction between all of this. Game 8 is set in the real time world so you can come back to it day on day making it really easy to learn and extremely cozy. This is called Cozy Grove. This is a game about camping on a haunted yet ever changing island. As a spirit scout you'll wander the island's forest each day finding new hidden secrets and helping soothe the local ghosts. With a little time and a lot of crafting, you'll bring joy and colour back to Cozy Grove. This is a great game because it's in real time. So there is only so much you can do in one day before you kind of need to put it down and then wait till the next day. This is a really good one if you are starting out but don't want to be bombarded with a game right from the get-go. So you can do a couple of things every day, leave it and then come back the next day. It's a really good one for that. You get to befriend the spirits and find out about their stories. Each spirit has a unique story as well. You get to craft items to put on your island and you get to go fishing as well. There are quests and there are side quests as well. So there really is a lot to do in this game. The game the game itself says that there is about 30 to 60 minutes a day to complete but it's up to you entirely how long you want to play for. You could play for 10 minutes to start off with to kind of get in the groove of it and then play for the whole hour or you could play for two hours, three hours, it's completely up to you. This one is a life sim mixed with a restaurant management game. It is really good for first time players. There is no need to make the dishes. This one is called Rolling Hills Make Sushi Make Friends. Serve up sushi as a robot chef in Rolling Hills, a life sim about running your own restaurant in a cozy village. Make new friends, purchase ingredients, enhance your shop and improve the lives of your neighbours as you perfect your craft. You dive into the hustle and bustle as you serve customers to earn coins and stellar reviews and you can even customise your restaurant with decorations that grant bonuses and express your style. I absolutely love this this game. I cannot express enough how much I love this game. You don't need to make the dishes like other management games which makes it so much 
more fun and the decorations that you can buy for your restaurant even give you bonuses like slow down the customers or make the customers want to eat slower or grant you more coin bonuses they're really good items that if you want to use them you can even make your experience slower that way as well they're really fantastic at this it's a really good good game for beginners and it made me crave sushi so much playing this game and the last game is a short game but that doesn't mean it's not amazing this is a management sim where customization is key while keeping everything super cozy this one is called minami lane build your own street in this tiny cozy casual management sim unlock and customize buildings manage your shops and maximize the happiness of your villagers to complete quests and fill your street with love make sure everyone is happy and watch your villagers live their lives with this two to four hours of playtime cute tanukis and lots of cats Again, this game is great if you want a really short game to get you started. I love this one because you get to customize absolutely everything and it gives you a quest on each individual street that it wants you to complete and you have to choose which shops would be the best for that scenario and then you get to customize absolutely everything about it so the ramen shop you get to customize the recipe for it the boba shop you get to customize that recipe you get to customize the outside of the shop as well you get to see the little customers and what they think of the recipes and then you get to try and improve the recipes over time there are cats that you can pet throughout the day it is so peaceful and so relaxing to play another great game to kind of get you in the management style of games games but also in the cozy space in general because of the graphics the way it looks the way you interact with the different items this is a great game all around and that is it those are the games that i would recommend for first time players getting into the cozy gaming space let me know in the comments down below any more games that you would recommend for people because i would love to know your recommendations and i'm sure other people watching this video would love to know them too so let me know in the comments down below give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below for more cute and cozy games as always i hope you have an amazing rest of the day wherever you are i will leave another cute and cozy game at the end of this video as an end screen for you and i will see you all in the next one bye